Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Happiness Forgets down here at the Babe Station. Um, so I'm going to make uh, a bit of a, a happiness signature for you guys. Um, I guess we're kind of lucky in our style and happiness being very classic that uh, most of our drinks that have been on our menu in the past um, are easily recreatable um, with everything we have here at the bar. And we very much have a lot of regulars that continually come back to us, um, not only for the drinks we are currently making, but also um, our past kind of happiness classics. Um, and definitely one of these uh, is the Herazana. Um, this is currently a drink we've kept on our menu um, for many years now um, because we just we can't bring ourselves to part ways with it. Um, so this is a drink, it's much uh, lighter, um, both in alcohol content um, and in flavor. Um, it actually combines um, two different cherries, two vermouths, um, a little uh, sugar and orange bitters. Um, and what you get from this is just bringing out those really light um, floral and fruity notes um, of all the fortified wines and served in uh, a nice kind of, um, uh, I guess, martini style drink. Um, so the recipe itself, um, with the sherries, uh, we combine 25 mils and 25 mils of manzanilla and a Montiato sherry. Then we have 12.5 mils of sweet vermouth, 12.5 dry vermouth, 10 mils of vanilla sugar, and six dashes of orange bitters. Now here at Happiness, we pre-batch um, all the, the spirit elements for our cocktails. Um, there's two reasons for this. One is for speed and fluidity in our service, but also to make sure um, everything is nice and consistent as well. Um, so with the batch, uh, I'm gonna pour 75 mils, um, which includes both the sherries and the vermouth. And as I said before, 10 mils of the vanilla syrup. And then six dashes of orange bitters. And then just nicely stirred down. Obviously the ingredients in this drink is very, very, are all very kind of delicate. Um, so it works really well uh, in a stirred cocktail. There's no kind of citrus element, um, so you don't need to worry about kind of breaking that up or emulsify, emulsifying egg white or anything like that. Um, so to make sure we bring out in all those kind of light, delicate um, flavors, it's definitely best to serve in a stirred cocktail. Should be almost ready. I'm gonna give it a quick little taste. I always like for any of my stirred drinks, martinis, Manhattans, any classics, I always like to kind of taste it almost halfway through dilution, um, just to make sure I'm on the right track and not uh, not over diluting. And then once more, uh, when it should be perfect and ready for serving. It's feeling nice and chilled. For one last little taste. Beautiful. So just gonna let that rest for one second. And, oh, gone bad. I'm gonna break out here. Santi, can you throw me an orange? Perfect, just like it was prepared. So uh, I'm gonna just prepare my garnish. Little orange zest. And we'll serve this in a nice frozen cocktail glass. Good little wash line. Get the zest over there, just to give the guests something nice on the nose. Simple as that. And that's the Harizana. <laughs>